I love the people. You, you're so warm and hospitable. And I love the food. I, I'm surprised that I love the Indian food. As you mentioned about the food, so what particularly you tried in India, like what cuisine or what kind of food you had tried and you loved it? We have the we have our guide, thanks to Mohammed. He was like trying, making us try different food, and there was. She had uh, Chole Bhature in Taj. Come on, come on. Please, please, sir. Especially, she wanted to visit Taj. And Taj, mein, so, so she just went and she wanted to have only Chole Bhature because the bread was soft. And she's staying in West Indian. Waha pe sirf usne South Indian masala dosa khaya because she's loving amazing food. And yesterday night, she had Wada Pao. Yeah, oh, nice. Wada Pao. We love it. Yeah. She has a whole family also. She's making everything she's happy in Indian food. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for the experience. So what's the most challenging question or the most difficult question you have been asked in the pageant and so how was your experience in that challenge? The question is always like part of my everyday work because I meet a lot of people every day and the question, nothing really is challenging for me because I think that's part of the learning experience I have been through. Challenge is part of life. So what would you like to say about the charity that you are doing in India? When I joined the pageant, it was really with, with the hope that I could reach more people to help more children. And I'm so happy that the, orga the pageant organization is really into charity and education. I believe that education is the bedrock of a positive change. If you want to change the country, you want to improve, it all starts with education. And in collaboration with the budget organizers, I am, I am here and I'm hoping to be an instrument to change and touch lives, especially for children. And we are more focused on education because education is the root of everything. Do you know in these times how you make yourself feel motivated and inspired each and every day when you wake up? So how you make yourself going each and every day apart from all the challenges? You know, every day I take it as a, as a gift to be able to wake up and to live. For me it's really already a gift. So I am motivated for some purpose. I also have my family. I have my husband with me. I have two kids. And uh, this is a big motivation for me to, to keep going, especially my kids. And recently, I feel like I felt I found my calling. I said that I have been blessed in many ways. In terms of business, in terms of friends, in terms of family, I said that my calling, I feel like, is to, to really help and touch more people. And you know, you have won after, like, there was a lot of challengership, there were a lot of competition, 12 countries. How does it feel like you're standing here with that crown? So, how does it feel to be, you know, after it, coming from that far? To be honest, it's like when I I was called and uh, there were it was the national anthem. I felt touch and it felt different. We we I mean imagine I try to imagine it because I I try to manifest always. For me, life is such a uh, manifestation, but was different having the crown here on top of my head but I know that beauty comes with responsibility and I am happy to embrace and embark the responsibility that goes with the crown. Aditya, do you want to say something? I, uh, after like, after COVID, it's like, uh, we had our four season before the COVID and this is like the first season we resumed after COVID, after COVID. And uh, after like doing five season, I finally received like a beautiful queen. <laughs> and I really have a very very huge experience from her. And somewhere I believe like she went over from my all of it. So hopefully we are blessing for a good training period for her and just definitely. Aditya bhai, kya aap puchho unse Bollywood mein bhi acting karne ke liye puchha hai kabi? You know, I said like maybe you know I, I will cross the bridge when I get there, but it would be amazing. Like Bollywood is is something like I always admire. And your stars are beautiful, 
And we're Trans saying that but I mean Trans to I feel honored because I feel like you're saying that I'm very good. And the best thing is in five seasons, she is the first Philippines to win the crown. Oh yeah, exactly. Before yeah, 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 yeah. But Philippines they used to come, they used to participate, but we did not find that potential. But our national director, Aida, is always busy in the Indian She's the national director who had been promoting her and she bought but amazing. Sir, in the pageant attend karne ke liye, unke husband Bulgaria se aaye. Please join. Come. Came from Bulgaria and also she bought all her team because it was her first time to visit. Tomorrow they are going Taj Mahal, then from Jaipur they have plans. Coming back we have some special event again for the charity. But all their team, amazing team, makeup artist, world's best makeup artist she bought is coming. World's best makeup artist who has very renowned number one makeup artist from Philippines. She just bought them all the crew from Philippines and also a stylist. Very from Philippines they got everyone. But the Puri jo team unhone leke hai na Puri Philippines ki team India mein aapko nazar aayi just because she was very proud and she wanted to do her best thing. So she bought her family, mother-in-law from Bulgaria, small four-year child. She had lot of trouble, had to go throughout again child. She used to maintain, but finally she made the crown. Hopefully one year, I hope the best training for you. Thank you. Yeah. I, you know, I say that beauty, a beauty queen is not just about being beautiful physically. It is very important that for a beauty queen, you have to be beautiful inside. And the crown comes with our responsibility. And I feel like that's one of my calling. That's why probably I have been led to, to this path to perform or to uh, to be part of this organization so I can help more people. I just have that all the best for her and I hope our decision and all the decision, you know the special thing, Supriya Shukla ma'am, Arshi Khan, uh, Roshni Kapoor and all the judges who are celebrating the India ke, unhone aake select kiya ke no Philippines is the winner. They were all there for three hours judging her and she did amazing and all the celebrities decided that she is the winner and I am proud that she is a part because of Aida. You all are very good, styling best, makeup best and amazing work. Thank you so much guys for supporting like this always. Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. The best mesmerizing show I have ever done. And uh, each and every contestant. part of this
grateful if you uh, if you give uh, honor to our you know own country people. So it was like that. And uh, what else you want to ask? Say, ask me. Something what happening on professional front? What you are doing as a producer, as a social worker, you do a lot. This time, Arabia International, my my company, I'm the director of that company. We provide business solutions for DCC. So uh, we were the part of that, and we provided the PR. Uh, this is just a healthy hands to uh, Mohammed Nagman and uh, uh, Ajit Kurana, who is a man of the world. So Arabia International did the did his uh, did, did their uh, duty. And our project is like uh, from Iram Entertainment. We are from upcoming film. We Mr. Chang, uh, which won 22nd International Film Festival till yet. And yes, we are knocking the door. We are coming up with a very big OTT uh, that's counted and started. And we are coming with the second film, Fedora Wrinkles, which is also ready. And uh, Gadar fame, Mr. Manish Padma and uh, our uh, Dadi, uh, Ali Asghar, Sushmita Mukherjee uh, did the main lead. It's a kind of a very good project we have done. And uh, kind of, uh, you know, the grace is, uh, uh, my grace and God is giving me the grace. I'm so feeling so, so good. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.